Like other visitors, U.S. First Lady and her family members were amazed stepping into the huge concept that covers the Terracotta Warriors Museum. The Obamas wanted to know more about the secrets about this legendary army that was buried 2,200 years ago to celebrate the reign of China's first Emperor Qin Shi Huang. Tourists from both home and abroad believe her tour will enhance the mutual cultural exchanges. By visiting the symbolic cultural heritage like the Imperial Palace and the Terracotta Warriors, foreign visitors will know more about Chinese history. And I think she's going to bring this back to the people. She already is. She has a website. You can follow her trip in the United States. Yes. And I think she will be um, opening a lot of people's eyes to China and the beauty of China. The U.S. First Lady was also interested in how Chinese archaeologists and restores were able to repair and preserve the broken warriors, one of the astounding features of the thousands of warriors that each has a unique face and expressions that had been frozen in time. After the visit, Obama traveled to downtown Xi'an to walk the Asian city wall, where she took in a local folk show on kite flying and talked with middle school students about their studies, their later activities. Many students presented the First Lady and her daughters with their calligraphy and drawings. In return, they received some inspirations. The First Lady wishes that Chinese students and American students can have more communications. She hoped we could go to study in the U.S. and more American students come to study here. She encouraged us young people to build a better world with confidence. Later, Obama and her daughters joined in a folk dance performance. Culture exchange is a key part of the U.S. First Lady's tour to China. By showing her appreciation for Chinese culture, Michelle Obama is hoping that more young people from both the U.S. and China can build bridges of understanding that will lead to further cooperation. Wu Lai, CCTV, Xi'an.